In this video, we're going to see if this Cooler Master CPU cooler is compatible with the new Tension Intel CPUs. All right, these are LGA 1200s. This was LGA 1151. Um, if you watch my other video, you know that the uh, CPU cooler that comes with these guys is the same one that comes with the 9th gen. So I am assuming that this guy is going to work. We're going to take this out and put it, uh, install it in the old uh, test bench and find out the uh, the truth. Um, this, this is the i7-10700. It runs really hot and uh, I definitely want to cool this thing off. So uh, it is imperative that we get a better cooler on it. All right, so first I've got to come in here and take this off of the existing um, night gen motherboard. This was a uh, ASRock Z390 motherboard, and I think either the uh, we either have an i7 night gen i7 in here or it's a uh, i3 uh, 9350KF. So uh, we'll get this out of here. and uh, see how it goes. So if this if this works then we will uh, I'll post it and uh, let everybody know. Alright so I have uh, disassembled the cooler and uh, we're gonna get it ready to be reinstalled. Alright so this is a uh, Asus Prime B460 Plus motherboard I've gone ahead and put the uh, at least the bottom attachments and the plates to this Cooler Master CPU cooler in. Now I've got to clean up the uh, existing i7-10700 and get it ready for mounting the CPU cooler. Uh, then we'll put the fan in and uh, we'll test it out. Alright, CPU cooler is in place. Now we've got to fasten it down. All right, it's fastened down. Now, um, it's definitely not one of my favorite brands. Sorry, Cooler Master. Um, of course, I'm not sponsored by them, and we are uh, we did pay for this product, so uh, this is an uh, unbiased opinion on it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, CPU fan on, and then I'm going to uh, attach everything, and then we will uh, we'll fire it up and see uh, how it compares to th the uh, previous CPU fan. So we're going to uh, install the fan now, and then I'm going to fire it up, and we will see how it compares to the previous CPU fan. All right, so we have it fired up. It's running. Sounds good. Um, definitely quieter than the uh, Intel fan is. All right, so I'm going to pull up uh, Fortnite. Now, it was kind of funny. Earlier today, somebody uh, commented, you're not a pro as far as my Fortnite goes, and I was like, no kidding, right? Um, though I have a lot of first place finishes, I, uh, you know, it's all uh, basically luck, not much skill, and uh, hunting around getting good weapons. So, <laughs> I find that, I just find that funny. Um, the, uh, most of these videos I do were, you know, to, to show you average FPS with a certain type of gear. Um, the gameplay is, is uh, secondary, if, if even uh, tertiary. So I think uh, what I'll do is um, we'll basically uh, record a few moments of this game as the action gets hot and I'll bring up MSI Afterburner. Alright folks, so this seems like a uh, winner to be honest with you. There is our CPU temp. Usually I'm running uh, 65 to 75, um, so that is a significant decrease there. Now I will post this video online, um, assuming I don't kill killed right away, and uh, I'll link it. I'll link it down below so you guys can see it. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like.